It has been several days since Prince Adrisen confessed his feelings towards you, Princess Asilme of the long-lost Akashian clan. As love blossoms between you two, so does the darkness gather ever stronger as the Erlu clan begin their advancement of war against the other royal clans. Ah, good morning, my dear princess. To see your beautiful face each morning, my heart grows ever fonder of you. Hmm. Plans for today? Well, since we cannot leave the castle due to the situation at hand, I propose to have a lovely walk through the garden with you. I have a surprise plan for you, of course. No, I'm not going to spoil it for you, so no hints. Well, we can go now, if you're ready. Excellent. Come this way, then. Pardon me, my Prince Adrisen and Princess Asilme. I feel I have an important matter I need to discuss with you privately. <sighs> if I must. My dear, I, I'm sorry. Let me see what this urgency is. Uh, please wait for me just a moment. Okay, Victor. What seems to be the problem? Sire... I've just heard that the Air Lu clan has sent their rebel army to attack the Eelvas castle. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for informing me, Victor. I'm sure the Eelvas clan will have it under control. Oh, really, Princess Asilme, there really is nothing you can do to help at the moment. I'm sorry, but per orders of King Armoraus, you are both to stay within the Galing Castle for the time being. The Sulanta have already been sent to aid the Eelfars clan. You needn't worry, Asil May. The Eelfars clan can withstand the rebel forces quite easily. If there isn't anything more to add, you may return to your duties. Thank you, Victor. Of course, my prince. Just wanted to make you aware of the situation. I'll be on my way. Have a nice morning, you two. Oh, please try not to worry. I'm sure my father would send soldiers to aid the Eelfars if it comes down to it. Besides, the Eelfars clan are known to be formidable in a fight. Oh, Prince Lewin. Yes, I'm sure he will be very eager to fight by their side, but I doubt his father will allow that. He will be very reluctant to risk his own heir to the throne. Come on, not much further to the garden. What do you think? I thought having a quiet picnic would be nice in this weather. 
<laughs> I'm glad you like it. Come on, sit down here with me. Here you go, my dear. I hope everything is to your liking. How is your drink? <laughs> yes, I remembered how much you enjoyed it at the last gathering. I tried to make sure I had all of your favourite things. Well, I'm glad you enjoy all the food in this realm. Tell me... Is it similar to what humans eat? Oh, how interesting. I'm not sure I understand of the term fast food. Do you have to eat it quickly? Or does it try and run away from you while you try and eat it? It brings to mind the idea of a strawberry with legs running away. Oh, I see. No, I have never heard of a Big Mac. How big is a Big Mac? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter, as I am unlikely to ever sample human foods in the future, what with the portals all closing now. Most of the food here is grown in this garden. You have an excellent gardener. Here, try these berries. I believe them to be some of the finest in our realm. And there are still so many things I wish to show you and share with you. Ah, it is so peaceful here. I know. It's so sad to think of the fighting that is going on. We have fought too many wars, I think. Bad enough that we had to fight the humans. Now we are fighting ourselves. Such a shame. Some things, of course, are worth fighting for. I would fight to the ends of the earth for you, for us, for our love. Not that my father would ever let me fight in this battle. He wishes to protect his heir as much as Eluin's father, King Elphere, wishes to protect his. No. I will not leave your side. Not. Ever. But enough of all this. How about I ease your worried mind by telling you the story of how my parents met? They weren't always so regal as they are now, if you would believe that. <laughs> my mother, Arlea, was part of the Eelfar's royal line at the time, which would make Eluin my distant cousin. My father, Armorous, of course the only child of the Galen clan. They were a few years younger than I am now, and during this time there had been peace for several decades after the royal decree was made, separating us from the human realm. Sadly, the only way to end all the wars and battles. The Galen clan had a banquet in honour of the decree, each year in celebration of the peace that it brought. Without one knowing the other, both skipped out on their royal obligations to the festivities and went for a walk into the maze. <laughs> I guess I know where I got that from. Eventually, father met up with my mother in the centre. She was sitting next to the fountain, nursing a sprained ankle. 
Without thinking, Father had torn a part of his robes off and used the water from the fountain to help cool the swelling. He quickly grew healing herbs with the Galen magic to help with the pain. They spent the entire evening getting to know one another. After some time, one of the servants found them in the maze after they were noticed missing from the banquet. Several months of courtship followed, allowing their parents to see a growing foundation and royal opportunity, as my grandparents had been seeking a future wife for an arranged marriage for my father. Oh no, my love. I don't believe my father intends on arranging a marriage for me. My love, my heart is yours and no one else's. I would run away with you to the ends of the realm to stay at your side. But no, I'm sure my parents know of our love for one another by now. And if I know my mother, she wouldn't want to separate us from each other. No, I intend to enjoy your company for the rest of my life. Ah, I think I might be in heaven, here, with you. Hmm, yes, the garden does smell so sweet, made even sweeter by your scent. Hmm, lay by my side, Princess Aseel May of the Akashian clan. However much trouble appears to be swirling around us, I feel like we can face anything together. Like our love will conquer anything. It has to, does it not? <sighs> well, that was quite the most wonderful day I think I have ever experienced. I truly hope that we can enjoy many more days like this. Yes, I know, but I'm sure the Eelfast clan will have everything under control soon. Oh, seems Victor has the need to discuss something else with me. You go on back to the room, Princess Cecile May. Rest there until I return. Adresen, there is an update to the situation. Very well, Victor, but please refrain from speaking of this to Princess Cecile May. I don't want her to worry so much. Of course, my prince. I apologize if I... It's okay. Now, please, tell me, what seems to be going on? The rebels have started their attack on the Eelfast castle. They seem to be more organised than we thought. Even with the Zulanta arriving as reinforcements for the Eelfast clan, the Air Lu had hidden forces in wait. They ambushed them en route to assist, which has caused some trouble for the Eelfast clan, forcing them to retreat back within the castle gates. Oh dear, this is much worse than I expected. Indeed, Your Highness. The Sulanta have dispatched a second company to assist, but King Elphare has asked King Armoraus to allow Prince Eluin sanctuary here at Castle Galen. But surely with the aid of the second reinforcements it should be easy enough to win against these traitors and push back this darkness attacking our realm. Unfortunately, my prince, King Elphare and his queen think otherwise. And... What do my parents plan to do? King Armoraus and Queen Arleo have dispatched more soldiers to guard the portals to prevent anyone from entering or leaving through to other realms. 
If the Air Lu are receiving aid or are hiding the rebel forces in other realms, they would like to cut off any further ambushes if possible. Hmm. I see. Well, do keep me up to date when you hear something new. As always, Prince Adreason. Sorry about that. Hmm? Oh, nothing new, really. Come on, let's enjoy the rest of our evening, and we will deal with tomorrow when tomorrow 